said he was getting bad TV reception. Look, all the antennas here are, seem to be made out of wood. Lunar TV reception is so bad. Like, you're using wood. Hey everybody, it's Mechmaster14. Welcome back to more SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. In the last episode, we started playing as Sandy Cheeks, started going across the rooftops of downtown Bikini Bottom, got some socks, and now we're getting a missile launched at us. In this episode, we're going to be finishing downtown Bikini Bottom, and we're going to start by killing this Chuck. So, let's get playing. Are we going to avoid that missile? Karai chopped him right out of the air. And we got ourselves a golden spatula. That I guess Sandy is going to be using as a... Uh, as an antenna for a tree dome. Okay. Now we gotta switch into SpongeBob so we can pound that thing in. And I believe, yes, around back there is another sock for Patrick. Pretty. Can't take it. Another find for Patrick. All right, this thing. All right, th all right, okay. So this takes us back right here. And now this should be the door into the lighthouse. Are you ready, kids? Set, go! So just like in the original game, in the lighthouse we have a big gauntlet. Every level's going You'll to get, get a bit harder, and we have to destroy a Duplicatotron and an army of robots on every stage. Feel like a new sponge. Just my size. Also, I really like this music. Here we go. Oh, and something I just found out is that you actually can stop on these smaller robots to kill them, which is something I don't think you could do in the original game. And since the robots are typically pretty dumb, fresh like a spring they breeze. They typically get oh. They typically jump right, they typically go right beneath I you, feel like a new and sponge. you can easily crush them. And as is with pretty much any other gauntlet in the entire universe, Ouch. take out the weaker enemy first, Ouch. and die. Alright, guess we're trying it again. 998, 999, 1000, ready or not, here I come! Fresh, I can't like taking damage breeze. twice on the first stage. I feel like a new sponge. All right, there we go. That was easy. Where's the duplicate tron? I feel like this version of the gauntlet is getting fat is getting uh, harder faster. Ow. Fresh like a spring oh. breeze. Yeah, like before there weren't like tartar sauces and uh, G loves this low. Or maybe there were, I don't remember. Ouch. Ow! Thank fire, it protected the G love. I feel like a new sponge. Here we go. So the robots and we should. Oh, we're at the bottom. Love opening and we got a super monster combo from destroying all those Tiki. And we're also going to get a gold thing. We also have to destroy the D-Love, the Tartar Sauce, and I'm pretty sure... Oh, dang light. Fresh like a spring breeze. Yeah, there we go, we destroyed the last, uh, the last Duplicatotron. And that's that. We collect the last steering wheel. We get the golden spatula. And I'm pretty sure there's one more thing we can do. We press that button, we get some trampolines.
We can miss jumping on the trampolines because we suck. However, we jump on all these trampolines all the way back up to the top. Well, we get another really soccer pack this back. And there's nothing higher than this. So, let's do the biggest bubble bounce of them all. Thank God SpongeBob's immune to fall damage. And once we head outside... We find out that we are right next to the house of the cruel people who just wanted to protect their property. As you can see, Bubble Buddy was standing right outside, and I'm pretty sure... Eight, eight out of nine socks and... Come back. Okay, I was wondering, like, did I miss... Did I seriously miss another golden spatula? But no, that was Roll the one that said come back with the cruel bubble. Anyways, let's roll, roll, rolly sponge all the way back to Mrs. Puff so we can give her all the steering wheels. It shines! So we do that. We'll stomp on this guy because it's fun. And this guy, just like Mario. SpongeBob, <laughs> I'm impressed. How did you fight? Well, there were these robots. I met Sandy, and the lighthouse was... Okay, okay. Sorry I asked. Here's the golden spatula that I promised you. Thanks, Mrs. Puff. Now I'll help you guys evacuate. But, SpongeBob, you don't have a driver's license. Oh, don't I? No, no you don't. Well, if I don't, then what's this? A library card. Oh... Okay, I really do like how in this game he actually does hold up a library card. I remember in the previous game the animations were so basic that you really couldn't tell what he was doing. But in this in this game you can actually tell that he's holding up a library card. Also his face was absolutely hilarious on the card. I'm not sure if you can hear me, but I'm tapping my fingers on the table that I have my microphone on because I'm waiting to actually load this thing in. And there we go. There is downtown Bikini Bottom and its hole. And actually, fun fact, I'm not sure if this... I'm not sure if this is entirely true, but I heard that the creators of SpongeBob actually wanted to make the buildings that everyone lives in look like mufflers to actually raise awareness about polluting the ocean. Again, I'm not sure how true that is, but that's what I heard. Also, it looks like there's smoke coming out of this bomb, so we should probably evacuate this area, too. And before we end the episode off, because let's face it, this wasn't that long, I'm going to artificially make this video longer by talking to Mr. Krabs and Pat. So, do you want to trade shiny objects for a golden spatula? That's quality craftsmanship, that is. Come again! Alright, now we're down to just 1,000. I can't believe we're already up to 20. I mean, part of that is because the Tiki seem to give us more golden spatulas. I love well, opening presents. Giving us golden spatulas, Don't forget, but... to defeat robots or Tikis that are directly above you, press this button. Not sure why we got that, but whatever. And also, how... Patrick, Mr. Krabs. 9,000, so I'm assuming this is going to increase by 3,000 every time. So far, it hasn't been that bad, but I'm sure that's going to change. Anyways, let's talk to Patrick, who just, who's just pants fell down. Wow, SpongeBob, you found some! Now they're back home, safe where they belong! Here's your golden back scratcher. Spatula! I don't speak Italian. <laughs> I, still like it. I still like how he calls it a golden back scratcher. 
Because I'm pretty sure Patrick did eventually. Well, SpongeBob, he you did found use golden some. spatulas Father, in back home, as a back scratcher in one episode. Here's your golden back scratcher. Spatula. I don't speak Italian. Anyways, we're now up to 22 golden spatulas. And I think this is a good place to end the episode off. Next time on SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated, we're going to be heading on to the next world, Goo Lagoon. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you can, like, comment, and subscribe, because that really helps out the channel. And I'll see you guys next time. Mechmaster.